Hello there, bitizens, and welcome to The Killer Bits. My name is Francesca, and today we are checking out the Lawbreakers Alpha. Um, and this is currently happening this weekend for those who have Alpha access. Uh, they have a 12-hour Alpha on a Saturday and a 12-hour Alpha on a Sunday. Um, you can currently play one game mode, which is the battery game mode, on one map. Uh, and that map is this map, and this map Prepare is... Combat. What is this map? Four. This map Three, is something. Two, one. Promenades, that's what it's called. It took me a second. Um, so the objective is to take the battery, which is in the middle, to our base and charge it. And it's kind of like, you steal the battery, they steal the battery. Kind of like a Capture the Flag-esque map. Um, now I'm playing the Assassin class, and I honestly do believe, honestly I believe, that this class is kind of overpowered. Like, it just seems so much stronger than the other classes. So it's a melee class. Oops, I missed. It's a melee class, but it just, I don't know. I don't know, it just feels, like, um, really strong. Like, the, the guns don't kill you before you get to someone and chop them into little pieces. If that makes sense. Uh, so it kind of seems overpowered. Where is this bad guy? There we go. Uh, she's dead, so let's take the battery now. So you want to get up here, and you see the, um, smiles over there. It's picked up the battery. Now we take this to our base, where it starts charging. Um, if they steal the battery from us, the battery maintains its charge. So now we're basically wanting to hold this point rather than try and collect this, and the enemy will come up here and try and take it from us. Now if we go around the corner here, I believe, you see this green thing? This is a healing station. So if you run out of health, or you get low health, you need to go to these stations to heal. Um, and that's kind of more or less to it. So the, uh, the class that I'm currently playing, I have, you know, my swords, which I can left click. I have a right click, which is like a ninja rope. Oops, and I have a shield that I can kind of chuck down, which is like allows you to get close to these shooting classes. Where did he go? Did he fall off? No, he's over there. I was gonna say I'm gonna assume he fell off. And you can actually, if you if you hit your, oops, let's just leave. If you hit your uh, ninja rope into somebody else, they actually take damage. We're gonna just quickly heal up a little bit. You see our health in the bottom. That will do. And then you also have an ultimate ability. Got her. Like, no stealing the battery. So there's a shield on it, which I guess gives you time to uh, you pick it up, and then we'll battery. just dump it back on the point. Your side is charging the battery. Um, and we're charging the battery again. So now I'm gonna heal up, and I'm gonna wait till the enemy comes in as a you know a big group before I pop my ultimate, which is Q. Um, and we could always use you know our, our shield to stop them from shooting us. We could chuck that down there, like so. Uh oh. Damn it. I couldn't get close enough to him. That's the problem with the melee classes. Obviously, you need to get close enough in order to kill them. Uh, ben Rex was playing a gun class, so managed to get me. And I probably should stay in this room, because, you know, if they come into this room, they have to get fairly close, which is quite good. Though, we do still have my ultimate, which is fantastic, so we can definitely contest here. I'm going to use it, I think, to try and... I was going to say try and stop them. They're all dead already. Oh, crap. Crap. Um, but you can see the strength of the, the sword class there, how quickly you just chop someone up. That was, what, two hits? And I was dead. Whoops. Um, point. Our team currently has four assassins and a titan. And that's kind of been the case, you know, in almost every game that I've played, is people have gone heavy assassins with maybe, like, one melee class. And it just feels a little bit ridiculous at the moment. Um, that the class is, you know, that, that strong. There we go, we killed someone. Um, we're gonna back off a little here, because what we can now do- oh no, I, I guess I used my ult just before I died. Where's that person gone? Ah, uh, oh, they got me. But I killed someone, you notice that? Like, I, I think I killed them? Or maybe that was the first person I killed, but I definitely did damage before they died. Um, and the sword swipe, it just feels really strong, you know? Um, which is a shame, because it means that the game doesn't feel particularly- well balanced if this kind of strategy is the best and it might just be that this strategy is the best in the alpha when no one really knows what they're doing because this is the easiest beginner strategy um like that definitely could be the case and that does make sense um but at the moment it just seems like people are running around with swords chopping each other up and that's kind of how you win um, and you can see now we've got the battery 93% charged, but if they steal it at this point and they take it to their base, it will maintain that charge. So 
the early game in terms of the battery, there it goes. Uh, it doesn't really feel like it makes, you know, a huge difference where the battery is. Holy fuck! I just took a rocket to the face. That was embarrassing. Like, that hurt. I kind of wish there was, like, um, replays rather than just this angry, like, emoji. Oh dear, 99%. So now we have, I think, like, 15 seconds or 20 seconds to take it back off them, which is kind of awkward. But I have my cue. We have to get over there is the problem. Um, so here you can maybe see the alt in in uh, effect. Well, oh, there we go. Oh, she get me? Did she get me? Oh, she got everyone. So she must have used her ult as well. Um, and they scored a point there. We didn't manage to quite get the battery back. Um, but it's first to two, so now another one will spawn in the middle, and then we'll go from there. But I don't know. It just feels. I think like that they could do more with it. I guess is what I would say. It kind of feels a bit. I don't want to say tame, but kind of tame. Where is the bad guy? There he is. Dead. See? Easy mode. Easy peasy. And then there's a healing station in here. We'll nip in here, get some health. And there we go. And you can see I can I can get charges of my dash. I've got three charges at the moment. Um, and I think when the game goes kind of like... When the air goes kind of wibbly wobbly, it means it's like anti-gravity. So then you can like... Jump and like... You see here is like a normal level jump. Whereas when I was in the middle, it did feel a lot like... Uh, more eventful, I guess? Where's she gone? Oh, come on! Ah, uh, she must be ulting. Like, when you get that many kills in that quick succession as the assassin, it's probably Enemy an ultimate. But this is still okay, you know, it's early early in the charge, so it's not really a big deal. And at least there's been kind of back and forth, you know, we had the battery for the longest time and then they took it right at the end, which is kind of annoying. By the blade of my sword, the wicked will fall. The wicked will fall. Okay, I guess that means that I'm wicked, because I've fallen seven times. Enemy is charging. Hey, the and there you go, you saw them kill someone. Yeah! Done. And that is uh that is the power of this class, although I only have 75 health. I don't know where the healing stations are on their side. Is also part of the problem. But if I can find one, that would be kinda good. Oh, I got someone and then died. God damn it, their sour tangy person has 14 kills? I mean, I have 8, right? I'm 8, 8, and 2, which isn't terrible. But you can kind of see, like I said, the strength of this class. It just feels kind of overpowered. I never flinch in the face of death. Never. I don't flinch in the, yeah, in the face of death because I respawn. I keep trying to press Q like an Overwatch. So here, this is the anti-gravity bit I was talking to you guys about. I keep trying to press Q like an Overwatch to do, like, um... To do, um... There we go, that's my ult. Oh, that didn't work. And I can't chop him through the through the floor. Your side has taken the battery. Let's just go. I can actually cover this. He should come this way. Oh fuck. Blew I blew up. But I bought I bought the battery carrier some time. And I sh I should spawn on our side of the map, which means that holding onto this battery is gonna be you know, a little bit easier. Did she just fall off the edge? Oh, for a second I thought she fell off the edge with the battery. We were gonna have words. They'll but it's all good. It's all good. Your side is charging the battery. Got him. I'm dominating someone. I don't know how I feel about this. But it's just a case of who chops who first, right? Um, and I mean, this sour tangy person seems to be having a good job. And you can see someone on our team has rage quit. They're gone. Uh, and we got a new player in. So that's fun. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just a little bit underwhelmed. It just feels like you have four classes and no one plays any of them. Enemy is charging the battery. Holy shit. Holy shit. That hurt. That hurt. That was, uh... A bad attempt. I think you need to try and be more sneaky. I'm clearly not sneaky enough. Which is kind of the problem. But never mind. Round we go. Where we will stop, nobody shall know. Yeah! 
Got her. There we go. So you see I dashed into her and killed her. And it is just a case of who gets to who first, is really what it seems like. There should be a triple kill. Let me take this. And we have to stand next to it as thing. And th the other problem is I'm kind of vulnerable here. Give it here. Oh, god damn it. I stole it and then died. And like, this class is not the best for stealing the battery, to be honest, unless you can kill everyone. I killed three people there, but it wasn't quite enough. Because if you can kill everyone, you can then, you know, take the battery as this class, but you're a bit vulnerable standing on it. Um, and I guess that's the downside of the assassin class. But beyond that, like, we still got the battery there and it's on 100%. So this is kind of a big deal. Your side is charging the battery. And we only have to hold it for, what, 18 seconds? 17 seconds, something like that. I don't even know where the enemy is. 10 seconds. And they have to take the shield off it as well. So that, we basically did to them what they did to us in the first round, which is, you know, take the battery right at the end once it's charged. And there you go, we get a point. And then it's next battery. Um, so it has been like a fairly close game, but I feel like the reason it's been a fairly close game is because we're basically all this stupid class, to be honest. Oof. Oof. I got exploded. I got exploded. I have more kills than deaths, so. though. Um, I'm probably just like YOLO moding a little bit too much. Your side is charging the battery. And there we go, we got the battery. And like having the battery, I think it's good because you do spawn right next to it, but there you go, got you. Um, it's quite good because you spawn next to it, but at the same time, it's like. I tried to use my E there, but I think I may have already used it. Um, at the same time, like, it doesn't matter because all they have to do is take it once and then they can win. But it looks like it's okay from the from the looks of things. I'm not really sure what to do. Like, I just I guess we just kind of stay here. She's dead. Nice. I am dominating Sour Tangy. Sorry, Sour Tangy. I hate when games say dominating. I don't know. It feels weirdly sexual. Like, I mean. I guess, I guess dominating makes, sounds better than, you know, like you are submitting to. We got some, we got some sadomasochism on the go. Did I get him? No. Whoa. There we go, we got him. I think that's his ult. Holy shit. Holy shit. Whatever the fuck that was, we got destroyed. Like, we all died there. He got four kills. Sozek. Enemy has stolen Suzek. The Enemy dropped the battery. Oh, well that didn't that didn't go so well. This other person on our team, Vary, is gonna carry us. Oh, actually just battery. got three kills, so yeah, it did Your happen. I think that was just like an ultimate and then an ultimate. So one person altered, then the other person altered. Is this person dead? Oof. Oof. I'm gonna just get in this healing thing. There we go. That will do. And the thing is, it's so easy to heal, and the heal is right by the base. So I just feel like it kind of defeats the point in some regards. Did I get him? No. I tried to dash up there, but because there's no anti-grav, I can only dash in a line. Um, so I probably should have used my right click instead. It was a bit of a messy ult. Oh no. 16, 16. It's not quite what I wanted. Uh, decisively, I guess, average. I get one kill every death. Oh, but you can see that now we have to go and get the battery, and this is effort, Enemy and then... Is charging the battery. And you can actually land this on someone. Like, you can, you can kind of hit them with it. Oof, I need to leave. Hmm. I don't have any health. Step into the shadow. No, there we go. I was trying to find like a, see if there was a healing station or something, but I don't think there is one on this side of the map. I think it's on the other side of the map. So maybe we should have gone around the other way. Um, it looks looks like things are going okay though. I think we can definitely still win this. Your side has taken there the we go. Run, Vary. Run like you mean it. I'm Your coming. The oh. God damn it. God damn it. What is this angry beam? Enemy intercepted the battery. 
I'm dead. That was a 2v1, to be fair. Oh no, my score! Feels bad. Feels bad. And how close am I to ultimate? 18 seconds. Right, I think we got one more go at this before it gets charged, for sure. We just have to not, like, fuck it up. We should probably also group up with our team. Because it kind of seems a little bit discoordinated at the moment. Do a couple of dashes. I'm not going to do that. I don't really want to die is the thing. Battery is fully charged. Alright, we have to go now. Your side has taken the battery. You're dead. I can't do anything. Oh no, I'm gonna fall! I'm gonna fall! I'm gonna fall! Oh Your but we did kill them all. The battery. Except that then we fell off the edge. So where does it go? Like, that person dropped the battery. No, we got it, we got it, we're good, we're good. We're good. Come on, game, we got this. I believe. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely a fun game. Like, don't get me wrong. This is definitely, like, it's quite fun. But I just feel like it doesn't feel, you know, particularly balanced. And that's kind of a shame, I guess. Like, I just feel like it could be, it could be better. You know, this kill screen, for example, is really annoying. I can't see what's going on at all. I just have this, like, angry emoji. Um, Your side has scored a point. You win. And you can see in chat, bullshit, this is so much bullshit, this game is so unbalanced and fucking sucks. Like, that is that is what chat has to say. Um, but I just feel like, I just feel like it's got potential. Like, there's definitely potential, it's just not living up to that potential. Because everyone just runs around as assassins and chops each other up. Um, but that's basically all there is to the Lawbreaker Alpha at the moment. They are featuring this level promenade, um, and the only game mode we have to play at the moment is Battery. So there's nothing really else to show you. I guess like, like you could look at the other classes, but there's not much point at this stage in the game when the assassin class just feels so overpowered and everyone just dashes around chopping people up with katanas. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of about it. Like, look at our comp. We had four assassins and an enforcer, and like it definitely shouldn't it definitely shouldn't kind of be like that. It should be you know a bit more exciting. But yeah, we only have overcharge. There's obviously two other locked game modes. Uh, and then there's only the one map at the moment in the alpha. I guess they're testing this map. Um, but that's about it. That's about it. I don't really have anything else to say. Lawbreakers. I... <sighs> it remains to be seen if it's going to be good. It's got potential, but it's not there yet, basically, is what I would have to say about this game. Um, but you can you can sign up for alpha access, which is, which is free. So if you're interested in trying out the game yourself, you can do that. There'll be a link to their website in the description. Um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. I don't think I did completely abysmally, which is always good. I'm always worried when I play shooting games that it's just going to end completely, like, terribly. But it was actually okay. Um, beyond that, you know, let me know if you thought of Lawbreakers in the comments below. Does it come across the way I'm kind of feeling it when I play, just from watching? Like, what did you guys think? Have you played the alpha? Um, and if you want to get social with us, we have a Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the kilobits, and a Twitter at the kilobits. Um, and if you want to, you know, Give us, give us some money to support the content that we make so we can buy games rather than playing alphas. Uh, we have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash the I've been Francesca, this has been Lawbreakers uh, Alpha Build, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!